Hi everyone, it's Alex with Wide Awake Travels. Let's talk about surveillance cameras for your schoolie or RV or van life or whatever. Um, there are many different brands, they have many different options. I was looking for a camera that will be able to record locally, has a high quality image, can do motion sensor, has ideally a little um, light you can turn on when it detects motion or you can turn it on all the time. Um, you can select which areas on the screen to actually monitor for detection. Um, night vision and also be able to upload footage online and that I can access it through an app or something like that. And I came to this company called Eufy, E-U-F-Y that sells variety of products and um, some of it is various models and types of surveillance cameras some of them are solar powered uh, some are just like USB like you know regular USB powered which is this one of course you can plug it in with an adapter to the um, 120 volts um, I ended up buying one that is a records in 2K and it has all those features that I mentioned earlier um, and uh, I've already used it for I don't know a year two years in, our, in my house I have several around the house and they work perfectly uh, and they are a little round they're like a little ball even smaller than a baseball there it is there it is even has a little spotlight above it uh, and this one is waterproof too it's got a built-in microphone and speaker so you can talk to people uh, that you know remotely through your app on the phone I have a separate video of unboxing this one I believe uh, that I posted a while ago so you can look at that I'll post the link in the description it has few methods of, of mounting it so this piece it's mag magnetic so this piece you screw into the wall or something and then this this piece attaches to it just through, through the magnet and then the camera itself attaches to the mount magnetically and you can move it around and put it in your direction in the direction you want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a um, screw to screw it screw this piece in and put some seal on there Sika Flex 2 to 1 to seal it and then I'm gonna just mm, I'm gonna use Sika Flex between each of these pieces as the glue to hold it in I think that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing once I find the right position for the camera I'll just put some glue there on the Sika Flex and they'll hold it when it cures and it won't come off. Uh, and it, this is where it has a memory card slot so you can put a SD memory, micro SD memory card and I'm gonna put these cameras all around like in four corners even maybe in the front of the bus and in the back and in four corners I'll see I'll figure it out but at least four cameras I'm gonna have. And to connect the, the bracket to the bus I'm gonna use the screw it came with the stainless steel it should be stainless steel screw um, and so this is the bracket and the screw is just gonna go in there and then when the this piece comes it's gonna go over I'm center punching here all right I got a sixteenth of an inch drill bit I got a one eighth of an inch drill bit. I'm gonna widen the hole just a little bit. Alright, I got a Sika Flex 2 to 1 over here. Got my screw. 
okay that worked now the reason I want the camera is because I want to pinch this it has this holder for the wire right here it's kind of like a clamp and I want that to be clamped there So the hole is a little bit wide because this screw is just getting loose. I think I found a slightly larger screw that, can, that this has enough clearance on the head. Good. Uh, this magnetic part, I'm gonna put it over that screw and then camera. Like that. Alright. Now when this when the sealant cures then it'll hold the camera well and then I can add more on the other pieces to keep it together there we go it looks good so the camera came with a long USB cable ended up finding a shorter cable on Amazon that fits so I'm gonna use that cable instead of the one that came with the camera this one is three feet long I ended up finding these uh, rubber grommets that are made for 5 8 of an inch hole and these grommets don't have a hole in the middle so I can make my own hole for the for the camera uh, cable so I got one of these grommets now and I'm gonna use an eighth of an inch drill bit first to drill this a uh, hole in Okay, and now I'm getting the utility knife and cutting it through. There we go. Now let's see if this fits. That's good. I got my uh, step drill bit and I have to drill it to 5 eighths of an inch. Should have put some oil. So I got here the Rust-Oleum. It's a paint and primer in one. Really should be using a brush, but I don't have one with me right here. I'm just painting that raw metal there. Since this little electrical box is going to be my junction box, um, I have to f push this cable through there before I push it to the outside of the bus. So right here, there we go, and then it goes in here, and then I'll put the grommet on the outside. Here we go. I started from the top, I did the top first, now I'm doing the bottom. I mean that looks pretty tight to me, I can't even, I'm having a hard time pulling this cable out. Come over here, alright there it is, I got it plugged in. I feel like I should have just slightly made the hole wider for the in the rubber in the grommet. 
but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some black sealant rubber sealant here and just put it up there and that will seal out that hole that line so I was gonna use these small buck converters DC to DC converters to convert the 24 volts from the battery down to 5 volts with a USB port and I had installed it and it worked for like a day or two I was here working on some other stuff and I heard some crackling and that buck converter caught on fire I was luckily I was few feet away and I put out the fire uh, so I don't want to use the dad buck converter that's a fire hazard and it wasn't even there wasn't even a cover plate here it was just hanging out here so it had enough um, ventilation right and it still got so hot to catch on fire so and I then re read some reviews online on Amazon I did find a few people saying you know it does it can get hot it's not it doesn't provide a power it advertises and this camera uses very little power, much less than what the buck converter was rated for. And still the buck converter caught on fire. And I use the, I'm using like 12 gauge wires here. I'm using thick wires and, you know, I did everything right, yet that buck converter failed. So I'm not using that. I went in and I got a reputable marine grade USB charger, Blue Sea Systems, model number 1039. It can accept from, I believe, from 6 to 32 volts as the input. And then outputs, um, outputs, no, it's from 9, from 9 to 32 volts input. And then it can output 5 volts DC. Um, so that is what I'm going to use. I have one already here. It has two USB ports. So, um, you know, I, I, I was trying to put a converter inside the electrical box so, so the cable for the camera can hide in there. Uh, so I don't have the cable coming out of the wall and then back into the, into the, the power supply for it. Um, but I think I might, yeah, this is not gonna even, is this gonna fit? It's not gonna fit. What I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna cut out a, a rectangle hole here and install the uh, this USB charger here and then the camera cable will be coming out of the this junction box and going into it because I have more room in the back over there is a big gap uh, behind this I just have to get a cable routed to get a power power to there so I got this metal cover plate that this um, USB charger is gonna go into like that and then I can screw this into the wall so I'm taking my plate here I'm going to trace it now I got my oscillating tool So I got the wire routed through the hole. I have two of these connectors. They have a quarter inch connector to plug into the back of the um, charger, USB charger. And this one goes in the wire side. Clamp this guy down in the middle. Okay. Now I got a heat gun. Now I'm going to add another heat shrink tube over this one, over both of these, just as an extra safety measure. Now I can uh, take this charger, put it on the on its bracket, and then 
black is negative there's a minus right there I'm going to clip it and this guy on the positive there we go and now I got electrical tape so now I will use electrical tape to tape it all to the to tape the wires to the connect to the charger USB charger so they don't get loose all right look at this it's not going anywhere oh, I can come in here that's all I don't even need screws but I will put them the mounting plate came with four screws I've only put one of them now because I'm gonna unscrew it later on when I'm painting the uh, shiplap so I can paint behind it so I'm just not gonna drill these holes um, with the screws now um, what I have here is a, a rubber grommet without a hole in the middle uh, it's made for a hole diameter 5 eighths of an inch so I'm going to drill I have like a 1 eighth of an inch drill bit I'm going to drill a hole in the middle now I'm going to take the utility knife and I'm going to cut okay now I fully cut it through to the hole what I have here is a wall plate Leviton R52-88017-W this one already has a hole that's 5 8 of an inch wide so that should fit this grommet you can also buy a plate that is doesn't have any holes and you can drill your own so I'm going to come here this is the cable from the camera and I'm going to put it on through the grommet and then through the hole of the uh, wall plate and then now I just have to put this grommet on the wall plate there it is and I can come in here and tuck these wires in Of course I'm going to clean this up a later and paint it when I'm painting the walls but I'm gonna leave it for now I'm gonna take this cable from the camera and plug it in here you see this plus in the corner once you open the app and register and log in um, you click there and you follow the prompts to add the camera I've already added it here so I'm gonna click the play back and it shows me the side of the bus live here I can hold it and I can speak to it if somebody comes up to the bus and I can hear them I don't know if you can see but the little blue light at the bottom is on